An ideal document codenamed Workers Pass or Practical Acquired Skills has been launched by the Minister of Education. This document is recognized as an equivalent qualification document awarded by the Minister of Education of Uganda. The Workers Pass is housed by the Directorate of Industrial Training through the Ministry of Education. Skills development has been one of the key areas given no or little attention considering the number of talented people in the country and the Great Lakes region. You have an engineer who doesn't know the second code, who cannot even prepare a simple radio, and yet our people in Katwe can do that. So I would rather employ someone in Katwe who I'm going to get output from than employ a degree holder who is an engineer but is relevant to me. So we are saying if we are going to narrow up the gap, the skills gap, we must impart skills in this engineer, in this veterinary, veterinarian. To realize any form of development, skills empowerment must be addressed at all levels since many people have benefited and survived on skills. A case that needs or requires direct government intervention and all stakeholders. But we recognize that if we are going to develop this country and get this country to be driven by the private sector, we must skill our labor. And labor cannot be skilled unless it's trained. If you educate labor, I think you only go 40% of what that labor can do. You have the 60% to skill and train it, and therefore be able to uh, deliver in terms of labor productivity. It is from this background that Swiss contact together with the private sector foundation came up with this great document, The Workers' Pass. There you are. A survey conducted revealed that over 150,000 people from the informal sector and the early school dropouts need urgent attention in various skills training and also be recognized such that they can also share on the national cake. Those graduates are from basically a train, are both apprentice, apprentice and the others who need skills upgrading. Today they are here from the informal sector to get recognized. Through all our projects, we usually conduct a market scan. And according to our labor market scan, revealed that we have over 150,000 uh, people from the informal sector and the early school dropouts who actually needed training in skills development or needed their skills to be recognized. This is indeed a turning point in this country's effort to develop, to promote and recognize skills and competences acquired by individuals through on the job training or through non-formal training and work experience. Because actually many people have learned so much but so little is recognized of what they know. If we have broken through that rhythm now of averaging and recognizing what people learn outside the school system, say you great school, and I want you to clap. The Workers' Pass project won recognition from the European Union. We submitted a proposal to the European Union under the global call where we were successful and the European Union agreed to finance the Workers Pass project for the next three years until 2013. The most important resource is people with skills for development. In fact, in some countries, when a baby is born, people from all over come to look at the baby as a resource, not just as a human being. The second one was to recognize that our system had failed to empower the God-given resource. And 
my heart bleeds every day. When I recognize God even, but you fail to empower the resource. The third aspect we noted is that we have many educated people. In fact, now we have new words, massification of higher education. These are very recent words, I don't think they're in the dictionary. <laughs> massification of higher education. We have over-educated people, but we don't have trained people. That is also an element we have been discussing. The fourth element was the issue of inclusiveness and the democratization of training. We go to the same market, we breathe the same oxygen, but then you want to create different strata. So we need inclusiveness and democratization. To bridge the skills gap, which is important. And the last one was to recognize the layers and the layers of unemployed individuals in our country. Because you need to, when you are employed, you may not recognize. So it requires a philosophical mind to recognize that before our babies, we have layers and layers. Every Christmas, every 12, it's packed a cycle. Every June, we are done on the layers of unemployment. Speaking at the launch was the EU representative who emphasized the need for expansion of the project to other parts of the region. There shall be no arguing that for technical skills, practical skills are so important for the growth of the East African economy. And I'm sure uh, my friend and colleague from South Africa he knows very well how much this is important for the South African economy. More than oil, more than the blessing weather and soil that you have in this beautiful place, which is Uganda, more than anything else. So for me, it's a pleasure to officially launch the project Worker Pass. You know, I ask, what is PASS? Passport? Now, I understand that it's practically acquired skill, but I would say it's passport. Yes. It's a passport to the work market, to the labor market. And I hope it works. And you see, there is no problem of visa in that. Well, there is a problem of visa because I hope that very soon this pass will be recognized, as we say, in the regional market to start with. And then we shall move to the Comesa one, and then we shall move to the continental one. So I, I take a, a charge on me to bring this to Dar es Salaam and Arusha for the air. I take a charge on me to bring this to Addis Ababa for the African Union. And certainly I will talk about this in a challenge with journalists in two weeks' time in Brussels. So I must compliment Swiss Contact for this beautiful idea. And we can see that the, the, the sort of projects that we are talking here this morning, we can define it people-to-people -people projects, where the donors, the government, other institutions get very close to the very real need of the people.